Welcome to Nucanic. Today here in Nucanic we have a 2016 Audi Q7. Now we're going to go over the process in which you use to be able to replace your front brakes. Brakes and the rotor. Um, the rotor is actually not being changed at this time. It's just going to be just the brakes. Uh, I recommend always to change brakes and rotors together. But the customer just wants the brakes. So we will do that. So first thing you will need to raise your vehicle, support it with your jack stands, and make sure that everything is gonna be supported and it won't fall down on you. Then remove the front tire or front tires if you to do both sides. And now we gain access to get our caliper. So unless you have the specific style of socket and or wrench to undo this portion of the caliper, we're just gonna remove the whole thing from the carrier assembly. And that's a 21 millimeter is all that we need to be able to do that. We have these spring clips. You can either remove them or leave them on. And at the moment, we are going to attempt to do the, the pattern with leaving them on. And we do have the wear sensor, so we will pull that out and inspect. If your light is on, you will need to get a new wear sensor wire, and which it only goes to like right back here. So it's not that long of a piece that you need for the new wear sensor. So I'm gonna work this uh, wiring out of the little holder that's holding it here as well as this one and now pop that sensor out okay so just pop that sensor out work it nice and uh, easily this is the wire once this wire breaks from uh, being more on the brakes then that's when you would have to replace the whole thing it's also held in here in one of the bleeders. And so just undo that to be able to make sure it stays out of the way. Or that we don't break it. Okay? So then to give us some more access, so when we remove these bolts on the back and we want to hang up our um, caliper out of the way, and you follow this hose along and right on the back here, we're going to press it out of its grommet here and also right behind the suspension. We've got the same kind of concept there. There we go. So that gives us the space with the, the brake line so that we don't put any stress on it. Also, if we can, we want to, we will depress the calipers, or the depress the caliper, the brake pads, while they're on it here. And because it's a dual caliper, there's pistons on this side and pistons on this side. You have to do them both at the same time if you do it this way. Because as you press one, it'll just press the fluid into the other one. Okay, we were able to get those uh, the caliper pistons pushed back on both sides while it's still attached. Um, otherwise, if you do, when you take it off and take it apart, you will need to have some type of, um, whether you're using a C-clamp, you would need one on both sides to compress it, or the actual caliper compressor that can slide in the middle and it presses from both sides. So we did that. Now we have our 21 millimeter. We're gonna go back around the back here and be able to undo the bolts that hold the, or the carrier bolts, technically, but it holds everything. The top one, and we have the bottom one here. Right, we have the bottom one undone, and now we will be able to remove our brake caliper, and we want to support it up out of the way, and in a way that we don't have stress on our brake line. All right. So I have it hung up here, and we don't have the stress on the brake line itself. This would be the step when you would remove your rotor, 
we were going to. We need a, uh, a T30 right here to loosen this little set screw, and then you would be able to knock the rotor off and put a new one on. And the thing is, it's not what the customer wants, and it does look okay. We'll, we'll let it go. So now we need to take our brake pads out of here to be able to put the new ones in. Okay, so we have our, our brake caliper up here. We've got it supported and we now need to load it with the brakes and make sure that we get those in the right direction, which is going to be up like this, but we want to put it in like this so that our um, wear sensor unit goes to the bottom side. And we do have those spring clips in the back. So they're going to cause some little bit of resistance. So we need to press against them and then you'll be able to press the brake pad into the back. And then we do the same for the one up front. So kind of start it at an angle, press it down. There we go. Yeah, just a little bit of working it in at an angle and pressing it down to lock it into place and getting everything to line up. Now that we have it all lined up, we can bring our caliper down with its loaded brakes and slide it over the rotor. So I've got it held into place there. And be able to start our 20 millimeter bolts to hold the whole unit on there. And I will tighten those up. Okay, those bolts are on good and tight. Um, next thing, we want to get our, our brake wear sensor. Of course, do an inspection. This is the wire, if this wire is broken, that will make your sensor come on. So we do the inspection to make sure that everything looks good. And then be able to run this through and right down into, there's a little groove. Hold it into place. And you just want to make sure that you keep the wire wrapped around the way it needs to be or you'll have to pull it back out and then put it back in. There go. Get it through there. This was wrapped around the cap for the um, bleeder. That's in place. The last thing you want to do is just be able to um, put the uh, brake line back in its holder here. That on the front one and the back one. And that would be the replacement of your front brakes on your Audi Q7 of a 2016. Thanks for watching Mechanic, where you can be the mechanic.